Hello everybody, welcome back to Mr. P channel. This video will show you how you can turn developer mode on on your Chromebook and then sideload Android apps. Before I start showing you the step-by-step -step how to turn on developer mode on your Chromebook, I would like to point out a couple of things. First is make sure your Chromebook have a constant power supply. Uh, I don't recommend doing this on a battery. Uh, I'm always I always going to developer mode and then resetting back to a normal stock Chrome OS, always having a power cord connected is sort of just my safe uh, the, my safe tip. Um, it's up to you, but I suggest always have a power supply constantly provided to Chromebook. Second is if you go to your files browser, make sure that you have everything backed up. I have everything backed up and everything what I need to keep for offline usage on my SD card. Everything what's in the downloads folder will be deleted and everything what's on the Google Drive section will be backed up. So make sure that you have everything backed up either to a Google Drive or external SD card or USB key. And when you have everything ready, everything backed up and ready to go, then let's go to a next step. Now, what we need to do is we need to turn the Chromebook off. So you just completely shut it down. On my Chromebook, I have two LED lights in the front. On the left LED, is indicates the hard drive usage. On the left, on the right, sorry, is showing me the power supply. When everything is turned off, we're ready to go to a next step. When your Chromebook is fully turned off, you need to press escape, refresh and the power button. My power button is located on the right, on the right side by right here. So I'm going to press escape, refresh and power and release. And you should see a white screen appeared in a couple of seconds showing to you that the Chrome OS is damaged. Don't be afraid, it's all good. At the screen where it's telling you the device you inserted does not contain Chrome OS, you need to press Ctrl and letter D. You will see a quick message showing to you that to turn OS verification off, press Enter, your system will reboot and local data will be cleared. That's where the downloads folder will be deleted and everything was internally on built in hard drive will be deleted as well. So make sure that you have all your backup on USB or SD card and all your files is synced in completely to a Google Drive. When you're ready to continue and when you know exactly that you have everything backed up and at this stage, you still can go back just by pressing escape or just turning the Chromebook off. But if you want to keep going, you just press enter. And now the Chromebook will restart and it will start wiping the Chrome OS operating system off and then start inst inst installing the developer mode. This message will show you that the OS verification is off and you should hear one or two bleeps. So let's wait. Obviously it's telling you space, press space to re-enable. So as you can hear, two bleeps, that's all fine. So right now your Chromebook is going into a developer mode. To skip this waiting, that's all you need to do is press Ctrl D, but I left going just to show to you about these two bleeps. And now there is a message which is saying your system is trying you have basically your system is being converted to a developer mode and on the top hand right top left hand corner it says starting in 30 seconds and by there you're going to see a small bar going across the screen all the way up to 100% to tell you that basically is then loading the developer mode Chrome OS and it's modifying your Chrome OS on your Chromebook so preparing system for developer mode this will take a while Usually, in my experience, it took between 5 to 10 minutes. It all depends on the, the speed of your Chromebook. At the moment, on the top left corner, I can see the time going down from 4 minutes and nearly 5 minutes. So 4.40, 4.39, 4.38. 
So I'm just going to leave this running and I'll come back when the progress bar appears. After the time went all the way to zero, I had to wait for another 10 seconds. It's restarted to this screen. So I press Ctrl D to skip it instead of waiting for these two bleeps. And the Chrome is Chrome OS is starting fresh developer mode instant. So roughly it took about, I would say six to seven minutes when the time went all the way to zero. Like I said, I had to wait for another 10 seconds or so. And now it's restarted and I have a fresh Chrome OS installed with developer mode enabled. So next thing is what you need to do is you need to set it up your Chrome OS as you did when you had a fresh new computer with a um, Google account and a Google password. After you successfully punched in your Google account and a password, the Chromebook goes into a, as a normally you would see just a standard screen and it says, hello, welcome to Chromebook family. You can take a tour and just as a normal device. But what difference is now you have a developer mode enabled. So first thing I need to enable a Google Play Store. So I straight away get the notifications and I'm going to choose open Play Store. It will open Play Store and set it up the Android support for this device. So I agree with Google Play Store terms and conditions. This will take up to a minute or so. So leave it running and we're going to come back when it's all finished. After Google Play Store successfully activated, I have a message to agree with the Google Play Store terms and conditions, which I will click accept and it opens my Google Play Store page as you would normally see on the Chromebook with Google Play Store enabled. And what it did is it synced in my wallpaper and right now is downloading all my Android apps that I had previously on my device because it's all backed up with the Google account. So inside my app drawer, I'll start seeing all the apps that I already had before like ES File Explorer, Explorer is already downloaded. My um, torrent downloading uh, plugin for Chrome browser is already installed. YouTube is already installed. So it's just backing up and then downloading all my files that I had before I started doing this developer mode. As you can see, I have my SD card still here and I have all the files from a Google Drive enabled because I made sure that I had everything backed up before I went and then a developer mode. So now I'll show you how you can sideload apps. To successfully sideload apps, first we need to enable unknown sources. To do that, you need to go over to your Chromebook settings. So it's opening my Chromebook settings and I need to go down until I see a Google Play Store. So there is an option Google Play Store. I click on it and then manage Android preferences. This opens as a standard Android settings page and under security, first option is allow installation of apps from unknown sources. I will enable that and I will agree with this message. So right now I can install unknown apps from unknown sources, AKA sideload them so let's close this and as example, I'll show you the Minecraft game and how to sideload this Minecraft game. So accept this permissions. So let's go to a uh, playstore.google.com and I'll show you what I mean. So while it's loading Play Store, let's wait. So let's search for a game called Minecraft. Press enter. So as you can see, one of the first ones pops up in the search results. I have a Minecraft. So obviously it's available on the Google Play Store, but if I'll go through a Play Store app on a Chromebook and I will search for same game. So I'm in a Google Play Store app on a Chromebook. So let's search for Minecraft and I misspelled it. So let's double check it. 
As you can see, it's a Maxcraft and etc. All these clones of the Minecraft game, but neither of them is actual official game. Because Minecraft is not supported to be played on the Chromebook of Google Play Store enabled. So to install this, you need to sideload. So if I'll go to my folder, my files manager, and I'll go to my Google Drive in a downloads folder, I have a folder called APK. And in there, I should have Minecraft APK already well, download it for me. I extracted this using APK Extractor, or you can download the APK files from a website like APK, APK Pure and etc. So I copy this file from here, and I will paste into a downloads folder. So as you can see by here, I have a status bar. So let's wait until Minecraft is copied into the downloads folder. What that basically means, I'm taking a file off a Google Drive and I'm inserting into a local storage of a Chromebook. When it's in, uh, successfully copied, what I'll do, I'll just double tap or double click on it. And right now we're searching the way to install this program. So do you want to install this application? I'll say yes, as installing Minecraft. Let's wait until installation is finished. It should take a couple of seconds or so, won't take a while, maybe a minute. So let's wait. App successfully installed. So what I'll do, I click done, close this window, and let's go to my app draw. And that's the Minecraft. So if I open the Minecraft, the app is running. So what I'll do next, I'm going to find my mouse and we're gonna test this game. I have my USB mouse ready. So let's have a go. And it's crashed. Let's open up again. Minecraft is loading. Come on. No, thank you. So a normal Minecraft, well, starting window, press play. I want to create a new world, create a new world. It's giving me options to survival. I'll do creative. Yes, continue creative. Scrolling up and down, the mouse wheel won't gonna work. So you click and drag. That way you need to basically play active cheats and etc. So all fine. Let's create a world. So I'm creating a world in a creative mode. Let's wait all this loading. Obviously this game, um, like you saw, is not available to download directly to a Chromebook. So what you need to do is obviously um, enable developer mode and then enable unknown sources and that's how you can sideload this game on your Chromebook device. So right now it's, it's loading and gen it's generating all my world. So let's wait for a second or so. On my S8, Galaxy S8 Plus, this game is actually loading much, much faster. But um, this Chromebook is Acer i11 with two gigabytes of RAM, so it's not the fastest of them all, but still is quite, well, is, is doing quite good things. So right now, that's it, it's loading all the chunks. So let's wait. Obviously, you can not expect this game running super fast. What I'll do, I'll go to settings. And under, under, under video, I'll sort out the Turn off fancy graphics, render clouds, and I'm just gonna make everything under low, low view, low um, graphic settings. So that will do. So where is game? Escape. Resume the game. So that's it. That's the Minecraft keyboard working. As you can see, double tap, and I'm flying. Or double jump, and I'm flying. So let's break some blocks.
your game is running on a Chromebook Acer i11. And this is how you sideload the apps with enable developer mode. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.